And hello, I am the Roguescaper, back from a week of ScapeCon, and I'm here to talk about it. Here is ScapeCon Retrospective. So for those who don't know, ScapeCon is an event, uh, kind of yearly event, usually hosted around Gen Con, uh, where a bunch of Heroescapers get together and they just play Heroescape. They do as much scape as possible with ranked events and tournaments and, you know, with awesome prizes. And it's just a really, I think it's a prime example of what happens when you have a grassroots and fan-led community. I've never been to a competitive event before. And I've always wanted to go, but kind of geographically, I've always been too far. But this year, I decided to cash in every favor I owed. I... <laughs> I saved up a bit to fly my in-laws to watch my kids. I took all my days off of work and I went up with my brother-in-law and, and my family members, who, my wife and my sister, who mainly stayed in the hotel room in the time and had a good time of their own. And we went up to Indianapolis, um, met up with 75 plus, you know, hero escapers and, and just played a bunch and bunch of hero escape. Uh, almost, as, I wouldn't say too much, but definitely uh, definitely walk the line of overdosing escape if that's possible uh, but I had a great time it was just a great time just going through and testing out new armies and being able to help a lot of uh, members of the community and also just kind of beat them um, you know I did I, I'm not gonna go through every event I did uh, I'll try to touch on some of the highlights but it was just it was generally a great experience uh, you know I we kind of exist in this online space you know where you know a lot of people by usernames um you know even personally interacting with people via video chat you know like people like tales of the hala and joe crazy i consider them to be really good friends but i've never personally met them before uh so it was just really great seeing them in person and you know uh just really uh they say don't meet your heroes but I, let me tell you those guys those guys are legends and it was a blast to meet them i also met some other cool content creators like rye guy uh, sir hero scrape and even hex Halla for a day where i talked their ear off about movie trivia uh because that's what i do when i <laughs> try to make small talk uh but it was really it was great to see them they're all generally awesome people you know another great part of it was just uh, I love to help people. I love to use my skills to improve things and kind of aid in situations uh, where it's needed. And they I kind of the some some people that were involved with ScapeCon mentioned they wanted a bit of a better uh, live stream thing. And that's kind of my uh, forte. My bread and butter is kind of video production and, uh, you know, video production and live streaming. And kind of did a lot of that stuff semi professionally. So I kind of brought all my cameras. Uh, you know, we had a three camera setup going for ScapeCon, which was great. It was really fun to set up. A little stressful at first, because uh, I'm running, you know, 75 foot HDMI cords for my camera, setting up switchers, downloading software, uh, running around, but that's kind of where I thrive. So, so that was really great, you know, just with the commentation uh, from Big Bullfrog, among others, and, you know, commentation, whatever. Uh, but it was just great knowing that that was kind of, I was able to play a part of that. Um, definitely look forward to kind of improving this on uh, next year. I'm definitely planning on going on next year. It was too much fun to miss out. Uh, but let's see, some of the fun events or some notable events I participated in. I did the three-headed Hydra with uh, Tails and my brother-in-law as a team. Uh, we lost a lot, but I had a blast. You know, we had, I had a couple games that were really close. Uh, you know, I think I went one, three win rate. For that match, one was really close. I was playing Granite Guardians, five squads of Granite Guardians. And it was me down to like two or three guys of, of the Granite Guardians against Q9 with uh, like two lives remaining. But we went about 20 rounds back and forth. Miss, 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 and just no, no ground uh, was gained, if you pardon the pun. Uh, so that was pretty impressive. You know, we. It was just in a war of attrition where neither of us could wound the other. You know, that uh, six defense against that eight defense uh, just wasn't breaking. Even with Quaglock's gun or my granite's getting height, just no one could get through. Um, but it was great seeing my brother. I'll all really uh, dive into it. We've been training a lot uh, just to kind of prep for it. But then the last minute we decided to switch our teams. <laughs> Uh, we were originally going to run Frost Claws with him, but he decided that wasn't good in that format, and I agree. Uh, so he just ran some Phantom Knights, and then uh, Tails ran 
I believe, Evil Raylan and Phantom uh, De uh, Death Knights, and it was just fun. I think Scape I lost a lot, but I think ScapeCon's motto should be uh, the place where winning. I think ScapeCon's motto should be the place where losing is fun, because I I lost a lot and I still felt like I had a great time. Admittedly, I wasn't trying to play super sweaty or competitive. Uh, the road leading up to ScapeCon was really busy. I I said before I kind of cashed in every favor. I you know I I did a lot of stuff to kind of get there. Uh, just doing a lot of commissions to pay for the way, uh, taking days off work, having my family. Uh, watch my kids, fly them in from California to have the in-laws watch my kids. Uh, just a lot of work and prep to get there. So I wasn't really in the mindset uh, to thoroughly prep out every event. I really just wanted to try out a bunch of units I never get to play or try out and uh, and just play with them. You know, I play with Protectors of Olar, which are never really good, but fully good. I mean, but they're fun to play. Uh, I played a match against Chris Perkins uh, with protectors against uh warriors of ashra and that was the most intense game i've ever played like i loved it because it was like chris perkins is uh is magnificent at this game and uh he, he's the world champ for a reason but it was just so great seeing i've kind of okay so i play escape with my family and my friends and with that but i'm always the one who knows everything you know i have to kind of go away and say oh this is a good move this is your power this is your ability but this is like people were telling me about the powers, reminding me about things. I was like, wow, I don't have to like devote brain space to to teaching everyone while I play, or reminding everyone. I was just able to, uh, I was just able just to play. And so that match against Chris Perkins was tense, was sweating, uh, but I mean, he won, of course, but it was, it was, it was great. Like we were just flying. It was like, like ice, you know, just like like three attack, two, four attack, five attack. It was it was awesome. Uh, just how fast everything was processed and how fast the game went and how terribly I lost. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it was just great. Uh, helped Joe, I also helped Joe Crazy uh, just film his HeroScape adventure. Great mode to play on as a fan of D&D and RPGs. Uh, it was just great to kind of be a fly in the wall in this uh, this session uh, of his. It was really great. Uh, I kind of filmed the whole thing for like three, four hours, so my feet were rather sore. But it was just it was just really fun to be a part of that. Uh, Joe's Joe's a genius of that kind of stuff. Uh, just having people be engaged. Both my brother and someone dropped out, so my sister. I were able to to play that that version, which is really cool because actually I originally played Escape with my sister. Uh, she's not as into it now, but it was cool seeing kind of her, her hop into it, and uh, you know she played a Shiori, so it was just really fun. Um, and then the great thing about Escape Con is that whether you win or lose, you still are participating towards prizes. Uh, there's was a really great prize spread, uh, a lot of stuff, uh, impressive works by Master Roshi, uh, you know rare VC units. Uh, custom terrain custom modifications it was just it was just great to see all that stuff plus a whole bin of free stuff that i picked through um it looks like some people started at, it looks like some people had some models that they didn't want and i uh grabbed them because they were free for the table um you know even a goth lock that i can paint up so i was happy about that uh saved me a couple bucks buying the model um i was able to get a curses you know i've always wanted this guy but he's hard to find um, you know, with me and my brother-in-law's combined points, we were able to get this guy. Uh, I also just, uh, Renegade donated some Shioris, uh, for, you know, just entry prizes for those playing Scape Con. So I got my Shiori, uh, so I don't have to try to find a tournament near me, which was great. So huge thanks to Renegade for doing that. Uh, Renegade actually had a lot of support at Scape Con. Um, you know, they sent some games over, sent everyone Shioris. Uh, so they were, they they didn't have a direct presence there but they definitely they didn't have a direct presence there but they definitely were involved and seemed to really just uh give some uh quality stuff i met with uh, tales of valhalla ryan and uh uh he just wanted to just thank me and you know just meet meet me and uh he gave me a a, a sergeant drake card signed by craig van nessa he picked up from gen con which is crazy you know that's uh that's just that's just 
really great. That's like something I've always kind of wanted to have uh, in my collection. So I'm super appreciative of that. Oh, uh, you get this cool t-shirt, you know, uh, with the three-headed Hydra logo on it. Uh, what other cool loot does I get? Um, I guess the friends I made along the way, which are invaluable. Hex Hollow got me a sticker, which is pretty great. I'm a sticker fiend. Um, so I came home. I came home with a, I came home with a bountiful plunder. Uh, <laughs> and, and also a sore throat. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that was probably the only downside is uh, towards the last day of SkateCon, I did get a little sick. I did get something nasty um, that stayed with me for the remaining days on the way home. Which even despite that, despite kind of that, that illness, I still had just a great time. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of what else to say. Just, uh, I'm trying to think of any other events. Uh, just there's there was a lot of fun events. There's a lot of ways they mix up the format and the and the meta. You know, some where they restrict powerful beings, some where they use delta points to increase it, some where there's really some fun uh, shenanigans going on. Uh, you know, like heroes only formats and stuff like that, which was really fun. I did a heroes only uh, match. Uh, I did just lack of time and lack of, lack of preparation. I didn't have time for a power army. I just did Talon Gold and some uh, Golems, which was pretty good. I've worked out a couple times in the right matchups. It was designed for anti-Q9 meta. So I got paired up with that a couple times and did pretty good. Uh, but then I fought Mega Silver Tommy, who one shot or one rounded my Talon Gold. Uh, with a Zetacron snipe, rolling three skulls, which comes out to six skulls, and I rolling no shields. So yeah, not cool. I remember that. I'll remember that, Tommy. <laughs> um, but it was really, it was really fun. Uh, it was fun making enemies and making friends. You could say that. Uh, so the question is, should you go to ScapeCon? You know, I would say if you really like playing Hero Escape, if you want to meet some awesome people, and if you want to do something kind of just in, that's fully committed to the game. And if you're able to run on low sleep, low food, and nothing but skate alone, then I definitely recommend it. I'm looking forward to going to next year and uh, actually trying to win, you know, having a strong strategy compared to just kind of goofing off. And um, I, I just wanted to take a moment just to thank everyone involved with helping run this. It's a really, it's a really impressive uh, fan run event. There's so much work that goes into it. You know, it's it's it cannot be understated, underestimated how much work goes into it. So just huge thanks to all the all the staff that kind of made it happen. And I'm I'm looking forward to seeing everyone next year. Escape Con 2025, baby. <laughs> but yeah, definitely check it out. It's a great. Uh, I was a bad. I was bad as a content creator. I didn't even make a lot of videos, I don't even have a lot of B-roll for this video, but I was having so much fun that I didn't even care. It was just the perfect break to a really long couple months for me. I feel refreshed, I have a whole bunch of new ideas, and a lot of things to catch up on to because of uh, <laughs> the time spent away, but it was a blast and a good time. Escape's back. It never left. Escapecon proves that. But it's like back, back now. And it's pretty exciting. You can feel in the air. It was just everyone there was just excited. Despite all the drama, despite everything going on, everyone was there just to be excited to be supporting this game and to, to just be a part of this community. And I shared that excitement. I was just overwhelmed, overjoyed to be a part of such a cool, creative, innovative community and i'm looking i'm looking forward to whatever they got next year uh because it's going to be an absolute blast <laughs>